Hello guys, it's me, Louis.、Uh, today it's only me to do the speech for the topic, and、uh, Malone is going to the business trip.、Uh, you guys will see him next week.、Uh, okay, last week we are going to discuss the topic with the Marvel Studio.、Uh, why American going to very strong?、Uh, so that's why we see、uh, the U.S. dollar. It's going to a week a little bit.、Uh, we are going to discuss later. Uh, today, um, my topic is Pandora box. The magic box will open soon because during the last uh week, we can see the gold price is going to very higher. We can see the chart here. Just a little bit. Just wait. We see the gold price during the maybe last two weeks is going to very high. The lowest point、uh, nearly around one thousand and two hundred seventy. The highest point for the yesterday is one thousand four hundred and thirty nine. Oh, it's during a one hundred and forty dollar rise. But yesterday, the price goes up. First and down. Okay, we see here. Oh, the main point why the gold price going to so high because it's two reasons. First of all, the market consider the Federal Reserve for the next month maybe do the interest cuts maybe from the fifty based, but. For the yesterday,、uh, the chairman for Powell also said we they may do the interest cut, but it's not that high. So that's why gold price going higher and falling down again. Right now the price、uh, the price is nearly one thousand four hundred and eight. Possibly the first support will be the. One thousand and four hundred. This is the first support, and later on maybe they will do a little bit decrease. So this is the reason Federal Reserve do the interest cut. How much they will do from the twenty five percent or the point five fifty based? So this is a very interesting here. So we are going back. Says the Pandora box maybe it's opened or not, but in my opinion, gold price going so high. This is only for the risk advantage for the price going too high. And the second one is going to the based on the Iran and America. We see they are almost close to the war right now. Uh, the Russia ship is going to the Hormuz Bay. Also, the Chinese ship is going there. We see right now it's kind of triangle here: U.S. dollar, or United States, Russia, and China. They take or、uh, make the advantage in the Middle East. We also know in the Middle East they are produce lots of oil. Oil right now in During our lifetime is very important. Everything based on the oil. It's not even for the vehicle. We use the gasoline. Also, for the like、uh, products, like we produce the shoes, clothing, and some other stuffs. It's during our life. So, why? This is the reason. If you control the oil, maybe you can control the world. Not for the gold. For the gold, it's only for the risk advantage. So, as I said, right now we see the U.S. dollar. First, we come back to the like the chart. We see for the past week, the U.S. dollar decreased a lot because of the market to consider in the future. Federal government will do the interest 
cuts so that's why the price for the dollar going down but yesterday the chairman power said maybe they will do the interest rate cut but it's not that much so the price goes back to the 200 average line you guys remember i always said when the price above the 200 line which means in the future it's maybe going back going strong again but however if the price below the 200 line which means in the future we'll do the decrease or price falling down again right now it's tricky here the price broke the 200 line and come back again so right now we need to see 200 line how america dollar goes now, here in the future it's 96.7 nearly here so if in the future the price going back and cannot go through the 200 line which means in the future the price falling down again so right now just a rebound the price going back to touch or catch up the 200 line in the future few days two or three days so we see the price falling down and come back again so we know the american dollar going like this we can see the euro here the highest point is 1.1412 ah, it's um, let me see during three months highest price around here so the pressure will be the 1.1400 here also the booting channel the highest pressure is the highest point 1.1412 just around there so that's why the pressure is around here 1.1400 and right now the euro already touched the 200 line it's 1.1350 uh, 1.1350 it's first just a weak support here if the dollar continue going back going up and uh, i think the euro price will continue falling to the 1.1300 this will be the next support also we need to consider the market in during this week or the next week the g20 meeting is already there we don't know what will happen so take the risk advantage the price for the euro may be just a bit little bit down so this week i consider if you do the trade for the euro usd doing the sale will be the best or the smart choice this is about the euro also we see the british pounds for the last week pounds going back the price going back a little bit just around 1.2760 for the pressure yesterday the price got up and down because the may, maybe the next president for the uk uh, johnson said if he win the vote he will be the president of the united kingdom he will lead people to leave the U european union without any contract so this is why the british pounds goes up a little bit and falling down right now it's already below the five days average line right now the today uh, the pressure will be 1.2700 and the support will be the 1.2650
just around 50 bits just around a little bit but in the future time when the US dollar continue goes up the price may be falling down also we see the KD index it's in the future maybe take the dead fork cross if two line crossed then the point down the price continue fall down also the lowest point support will be the 1.2500 just there remember there also the bullion channel we see two lines the yellow one the purple one is going to closed it's getting small and smaller so which means in the future the British pounds will see the condition uh, who will win the vote of the president this is the first of all second one for the deadline the end of the August how a British will do the, leave the Euro, uh, European Union how they live with contract or without contract this is a very important if British will leave you uh, you uh, United uh, sorry if the British pounds leave the European Union without contract so the price will decrease a lot because it's no contract leaving this is the reason we see the British pounds right now it's going back to falling down so this is the mean European currency we'll move on the gold price we see yesterday the highest point record 1439 and the price going down today the price continue going down it's right now it's supposed by the five days average line if if in the future today later on or tomorrow for the next rest of the week the price continue falling down we will see the 10 days average here it will be 1000 and 380 around around there also we can calculate for the Fibonacci we already know the lowest point is around here highest point here we take the Fibonacci see the first support 13 point 38 point 2 here around here it's 1376 just around nearly by the 10 days average line so lowest point to the highest point the future time the price falling down a little bit this is the hills uh, for the price moving if in the future time we are consider about uh, because now is uh, almost end of the this month now uh, today is the 26 for the next week uh, we are going to the July I think yeah, yeah July this month the federal government will do the de decision for the interest rate cuts or no change if cuts how much silver cuts 25 or 50 this is a very important things also for the uh, ye for yesterday uh, mr president uh, trump also said he is not happy with the uh, chairman of the power because the because mr trump won't do the interest rate cuts he don't want the u.s dollar going strong he think euro going strong u.s dollar may be going weak because it's better for him to the export so this is the reason why 
Mr. Trump always says that, I said that, he wants to do the interest rate cut. He don't want the US dollar going strong. So this is the reason. Also, he announced the name of the chairman for the uh, federal government. If he like, uh, if he like, he can quit. Uh, he can quit. He can ask him to leave. Ask power to leave uh, his job. So maybe it's not illegal. It's not illegal. Uh, maybe it's illegal. Re maybe. Who knows? Because he is the most power of the man of the world. Because he is the president of the United States, Mr. Trump. So we're going back to see the gold price. The price in the future maybe will do the decreasing. Uh, it's not yet. So if you guys want to do if you want to trade with the gold price, right now the better things is going sell. If the price continue goes up and above the highest point is one thousand and four hundred thirty nine, we change our mind. We are going to buy. Now the price falling down. This is the reason. Ah. You guys, you know, you should know. When the market consider, oh, everybody says, oh, gold price in the future will go higher, 1050, 1060, even more. Uh, we need very carefully to analysis for the, this price because when the market or oh, the every people says in the future the price will go up, we need think opposite way. Because truth always stay on the few people side. You guys know that. So right now the price going a little bit down a little bit. Okay, this is the gold price. Also, we need to see the oil. Just a second. You can see the oil. Remember last week. I show you guys for the W bottom. Remember that? I do it again. Down here. Rise here. Down here. Rise here. See? What's this like? It's W bottom here the nick line or maybe a little bit lower it's 55 if the price in above 55 will double this range where it's around 60 so right now the price is 59. It's almost close to the 60. So this is the W bottom. It's very successful. If you guys hear about last week I said, do the buy oil. I think you can make a lot of profits with the oil price. When the price around the 60. So we need to see a next movement. Because right now the price goes up. Uh, the reason the price goes up is uh, Iran and the US dollar take the risk. Yeah, they are almost, almost going to the war because Iran shoot off the airplane for the American. Also, uh, right now Russia ship is being here. Chinese China ship being here. Hormos Bay. Uh, we see if they are going to the war. Uh, the oil price going to maybe 200 and even more. The gold price, I think it's well over 2,000. But it's based on if the war beginning. We know right now we are in peace. We, are, we know we are not wish the war happened. But who knows where, who will be the first shoot. So this is the reason the oil price we see 
it's very perfect w button lie here so this is the commandments the last things we are going to see the japanese yen price i said last week it's a range it's 108 and 109 just a second i draw the line here <clears throat> last week the range is around here 108 and 109 but the price if going to decreasing it's below the 108 so we need to see the another support it's around 107 For the yesterday, the price going down and the back. In this kind of condition, it shows opposite way. Yesterday, the price going down, but today or in the future more, the price will be going back. So we see because the Japanese government won't, don't want to be the Japanese yen going very strong, so yeah, kind of weak. So the price should be going up in the future time. We see here. Uh, just a second. Here, the price going back. First, we will see here. 108 if the price above 108 it will be continue we are going to see 109 so remember the range right now the Japanese yen during around 107 108 just here in the future if the price continue going up so we will see the 109 so I already do the buy around 107 so in the future it can take a little bit profits here also you guys can show the post for my balance here okay welcome mean we're coming back run uh, today we are going to discuss a little bit about uh, US dollar euro british pounds uh, also the gold oil and the japanese yen this is the main currency pair we are going to do maybe most of the uh, during our trade so if you guys want to any question you can ask so every wednesday we are going to discuss what happened and what will be happened in the future so I think it can uh, can help uh, the people who can who don't have a lot of time to watch the news or watch the chart, watch the how the future goes. So we think if it uh, can help uh, the people who are listening our video. Uh, so today, so this is kind of our. Point. So next week, when Malone come back, we continue to discuss a topic. Mm, we can take, we can talk about an uh, interesting topic. So if you guys have any idea or any kind of topic you like, you can just let us know. We can discuss for the interesting topic for everyone. Okay. So today it's almost here. It's uh, so maybe next week. See you next week. Bye bye.